Hello everyone and welcome. This video is about taking a red geared helm and transferring it to a crafted pink gear helm and what that process is about and what uh, what to expect. So um, I don't have the whole thing scripted out. I know it needs to be done. So we're just going to go, you're going to go along for the ride and see what I do. So you have a good idea for yourself. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So first things first, when you go to the top right corner and then you click on it and you go to craft, which is all the way on the left. And we come down here to helmet. We, we uh, want to craft this one, the absolute GS helmet. So I've taken a lot of steps out, which is I've been farming in Hadoom. I've gotten a lot of dark coins. I've turned those dark coins in so that I can uh, get the gear fragment requirements for Giath, Muskin, Red Nose, and Beg. And all that's left is Giath's helm. Now I do have the dark coins to get Giath's helm, but I wanted to take you through that process. So you're like, well, where'd you get that? You know, how'd you turn them in? So let's go ahead and we're already at the uh, person that is Gervais. So as you can see, she has the little icon. And if you want to know, she's the purple icon in the list in the top left corner. See, Gervais. So you go to her shop and she has all of these gear fragments that you use to craft everything, including crystals uh, for armor and weapons and sub weapon. So the prices for each of the uh, gear fragments is the same price. It doesn't change. So you can count on the fact that when you want to get a Kazarka gear fragment, it will be 920 for one fragment, which is not bad when you're farming in Hadoom. Uh, you end up, I think after an hour, two hours with like a thousand, two thousand. So, you know, you'll have to see how your farming does. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. We're here for Giath. And there it is. So, well, it's a thousand two hundred for a for, uh, uh, dark coins for one fragment of it see it even tells you right here when you click on the picture amount needed to craft abyssal gear 40 and to craft primal gear 240 so we'll go ahead and click on exchange and I already know that I need 40 of them so and in the top right corner it shows how many uh, how many coins we already have we have 114,000 so let's go ahead and click this box in the center next to the one, the to the left of the one. Let's enter 40 and confirm. And we need 48,000 of this to uh, buy it. We have it, so let's go ahead and buy. So now that we have it, we'll go ahead and say thank you very much. Go back to our craft screen. And... Now for the helm, we need the red one. So we're gonna click a little bit below to Gias Helm. It'll say 280, that's fine. We only need 40. So let's just craft. Yes, one, just one. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Now when we go back here, everything is ready to go so I can't stress this enough this is one path to take the other path I will go into but that's well I already have a pink gear and it's already awakened so I have red gear now what do I do I'll go over that this one is crafting the pink which means it's not awakened and it's ready it's primed and ready to be uh, upgraded so Let's go ahead and craft this. Yes. Very excited. Don't don't misunderstand me. Really happy I'm getting a piece of pink gear. It just takes a while. 
There we go. Okay. So the next step is you take a look at what you have. And I have a uh, pen Schultz helmet. If you had a red Geoth helmet, you would have to uh, take the Awakening off of this. I still have to, <clears throat> but uh, I'll go through all that. It would be, it wouldn't work because when you transfer the the level of pen over to the pink, it uses up the item. So you need to still get the item to craft the pink helm. So it's word to the wise you you still need to get that red helm and then now you're free to take this and do what you want so let's go ahead and go to the camp <clears throat> I didn't want the video to be very long so just wanted to go over what I do so here we go first things first I want to show you something if you come over here to your extractor and you uh, no uh, let me see awakening no it's uh, transfer transfer oh right right so if you're like okay I already have the pink helm I'm just gonna transfer it anyway you go to your black spirit transfer enhancement click on the pink helm click on the red and go to transfer this is what I want to show you crystals that are equipped on the material will be deleted you busted your butt for these crystals no you got a plan for this you need black pearls to remove those crystals and of course the experience is a hundred percent so no need to use crons so it says, do you want to extract the crystal or transfer? Yes, we're going to extract the crystal. So we'll go ahead and uh, go back, select it. And I know you're like, oh, those, I get those all the time. Well, that's the best that I have right now. And, and I don't want to farm to get them back again. So I'd rather extract them. So there we go. It cost me 100 BP just pretty cheap compared to higher level ones so now they're out okay so let's go back transfer enhancement put my helm back in there and this and transfer the enchantment effects of this item will disappear upon transfer do you continue that's fine Fine. Now, there were a lot of barriers the last times I've done it, so I just got a routine of, okay, I need to do this and remove this and do that. I'm doing this new with you all, so if there's any things that stop me, you'll see it as well. So I'm just going to say, yeah, confirm. And looks like it swimmingly moves over. So it even says, do you want to do gear awakening? Yes, I do. Heck yeah. So we'll select it. 20 mil. Things don't get cheap when you get higher up in level. Just word to the wise on that one. So yes. Yes, I do. Eh, it just tells you. You can't equip this gear on uh, lower than 60 and not ascended or awakened characters thinking you're gonna make out like a bandit sorry not that easy but there are other things you can do so confirm alrighty so there it is now it's saying enchant gear because when we went to uh, move it over all my enchantments are stripped and of course and I need to put them in um, not gonna take you through that you know that's fine I wanted you to see how we took a red moved it into a pink and uh, gave it the level that it is which is five and all I have to do now is equip the crystals that I have I probably have better 
to equip by now. I'll have to double check. But that is it in a nutshell. Now, uh, that is one path on how to upgrade your gear. I wanted to show you one more thing, and that is <clears throat> this right here. I did it the other way. Your, um, oh, son of a, your extractor needs to be level six to, uh, yeah, extractor needs to be level six to remove a, an awakening on pink gear so that you can uh, take your red gear that has a, a level of pen or hex or whatnot and then transfer it in. It won't let you straight transfer the pen from red to pink while it's awakened. Uh, so plan for that. You need your extractor to be max level as it is right now at six to make that trade. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, it's just enchantments and putting in your uh, crystals from here. So, you know, like I said, a pretty quick video and fast, and that's how it works. So, once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos. I'm always making more, and you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.